This video we are going to review the conversion staircase. So if you remember there are four steps to the conversion staircase. On the bottom step is millimeters. That's the smallest unit we use. Next step has centimeters and then there's decimeters and meters. And we don't worry too much about decimeters. That's not one we have to really think about in grade 5, but it's there because it has to take a space on the staircase. It needs to have a stair to itself. So if you remember, when we move down the staircase, our decimal moves to the right. And when we move up the staircase, our decimal moves to the left. Okay, so let's try some examples together. If I had 1.17 meters, how many centimeters would that be? So I have to notice that I'm going from meters to centimeters. So I'm going from meters up here to centimeters. So meters, one, two steps down. I'm going down two steps. So my decimal is going to move to the right two steps. So my decimal goes one step over, two steps over, and ends up right there. So my new number becomes 117 decimal, and then I can put a zero there at the end of the decimal. So 1.17 meters is equal to 117 centimeters. Let's do another example. Okay, let's do this. Let's have 68 decimal 7 centimeters and change that to meters. Okay, so I'm going to write out 68 decimal 7. And I'm going from centimeters to meters. So that means on the conversion staircase, I'm going one, two steps and I'm going up so my decimal moves the same kind of direction to the left two steps so here goes my decimal one step and when I say a step I mean a place value and a second step or place value and that's where it ends up so my new number becomes decimal six eight seven and I can put a zero in front of that decimal so it's 0 decimal 687. So 68.7 centimeters is equal to 0 decimal 687 meters. Here's another example. Let's say you have 33 centimeters and you want to change that to millimeters. Well remember now since there's no decimal in the number 33 where would it go if it existed? Well, it would go at the end, so I can rewrite 33 as 33 decimal 0. That's the same number. And now, on my conversion staircase, I'm going from centimeters to millimeters, so I'm going one step down and to the right. So my decimal will go one step, or place value, to the right. So I'll move my decimal over once, one place value, and that's where it ends up. So my new number becomes... 330 decimal 0 millimeters. So 33 centimeters is equal to 330 millimeters. Let's do one more for fun. Let's say that you have 17.1 millimeters and you want to know how many meters will that equal? Well, I'm going to rewrite 17.1 down here so that I have room to move my decimal. And I notice I'm going from millimeters to meters. So I'm going from millimeters up one, two, three steps. And three steps to the left because I'm going up and to the left. So my decimal will move three steps or three place values to the left. One place value, two place values, mm -hmm three place values. Now, this space here can't just be empty. We need something there. So what should go there? A zero. And in front of the decimal we can always put a zero. That's a good idea. So my new number becomes zero 
decimal zero one seven one. So seventeen point one millimeters equals zero decimal zero one seven one meters. And that's the conversion staircase review.